these right here, these are the best pickles to eat. Okay, can, oh, wait, sorry, my finger's in the way, sorry. But can you see how the eggs is in there? And you got the potatoes, mm, the cheese, and the sausage. Real good. Hey guys, I'm back. I hope everyone is doing well and staying cool. Thank you all who subscribe to my channel, new and current. And today we are going to make my breakfast casserole. See, I made it before, but I don't know if I told you guys, you can make this as a dinner casserole. You use your shredded hash browns and then you'll put, if you eat chicken, you can put chicken in it, but make sure your chicken is done before you put it in there. Um, you're gonna make it just how I'm gonna make this, but except I'm going to make a breakfast uh, casserole. We're gonna use this, the Zesty Hot pork sausages, I'm gonna use about 10 eggs, some cheese, sour cream, and butter. You can use unsalted butter. I'm gonna use salted butter because I'm not putting any salt in my uh, food. And we're gonna also need some cheddar cheese soup. Now, I use two cans because for me, it makes it much creamier. You only need one can, I'm, that should be fine, but depending on how, uh, what size your uh, shredded hash browns is. This is a four pound bag. And I'm gonna use these pans right here. Now I'm going to use two, two pans. Now how I do it, you don't have to do it like this. How I do it, I put it in two pans and it's kind of like a double bake. I put it in the oven, let it um let the potatoes bake for a little bit, probably for like a half hour or so. And then I put all my mixtures in there, the eggs, the cheese, the sausages, the cheddar cheese, the butter, sour cream, and I mix that all together and then I put it back in the oven and let it bake some more. Um, now, when you're baking with eggs, you have to cook it a little bit longer and I cover it just so I can make sure that the eggs are getting cooked on the inside. So, let's jump right into this video. Okay, we got our sausage cooking. We got the oven heating up. And I put my oven to 375. And then you see how I... um. I separated them, I put them in two trays because it'd be easier that way and they, to me they get done faster and this is how I like it but like I said before you don't have to put them in two separate pans maybe if you had like a bigger pan it'll work easier for you but for me I like it like this to separate them so they can like cook a little better and then once I put them in the oven for like I guess maybe like 20 minutes I want to take them out and then I'm going to season them before I add the ingredients. Oh, and just the FYI, I got these pans from ShopRite. 10 come in a pack for $4.99, so I think that was a pretty good deal. It's cheaper than the dollar store, because I got 10 for $4.99. Also, you know how I said I'm using the cheddar cheese soup? This is up to you. I prefer the cheddar cheese soup. You can use uh, the cream of chicken soup as well. Uh, I did use that before. I mean, it was still good, but like I said, the cream of cheese, um, that's more cheesier and creamier for me so I, I like that and you can also use cream of potato soup if you would like it's up to you that's your choice I'm just browning up my sausages they're almost done and also I don't know if I said it but when I say for dinner you don't have to put the chicken in there if you don't want to you can just make the hash brown casserole and then make whatever you're gonna make with it and it will be good these are the three staples that I will be using to season the potatoes and I also season my sausage as well. When I make this uh, dish, I like to season my sausage. Even though it's already seasoned and it's hot, but I still like to add these ingredients. Okay, as you can see, I got the 10 eggs beaten. I didn't put cheese in it because I'm going to be adding cheese in, into the casserole. I usually do put cheese in my eggs when I make it, but like I said, since the cheese is already going to be in there, there's no need to add it. We are going to melt one stick of butter and then we're going to add that to the mix as well. Okay, we did let these uh, potatoes cool for a little bit only because I'm putting the eggs in there even though, you know I mean, it really don't kind of matter but for me, I'm going to, I let the potatoes cool for a little bit and then um, now I'm going to add all the ingredients. As you can see, let's focus, 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 okay. I drained my sausage, so if, you ha if you're cooking the sausage and you do have like some grease on it, just make sure you drain it because you don't want to add the grease, you know what I mean, to your, uh, to your food. We have the potatoes right here. Now I'm going to add the seasoning. 
Okay, we're going to add our sausage in with the potatoes. I got to get the butter. I'll be right back. Okay, wait, before I add the butter, let me mix this, um, let me mix this sausage in as good as I can. Like, it would have probably been better if I had a bigger pan, a larger pan, but it's all right, because I usually make it in this size anyway. And it's not going to last very long around here anyway, so, but it is good, and it is good to make, so you don't have to cook in the morning time when you, like, running late for work or whatever. Your kid can just go ahead and, and heat it up and make no mess and start no fires in your house. I did season my potatoes and here for the melted butter, we're going to pour it in there. And then we're going to mix this well. Also, um, if you want to put like peppers and onions in with this, you sure can. I just don't add it to mine because as I stated before, my son is not fond of eating peppers especially onions so but I'm quite sure it would be good if you did add them in there but it's up to you you can add what you want to add just make sure everything is cooked you don't want to be eating nothing raw now we're going to add the sour cream and I'm going to get the cream of cheese soup okay we're going to add in our, our soup Now you need a 16 ounce of sour cream, but this is 14, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of another one that I have. So we're going to incorporate all the ingredients together. This is about to go into the oven very, very soon. Make sure I get all the sour cream, all the sour cream out. I put the cheese in there, got the sour cream in there. I'm gonna mix this all together and then I'm gonna um oh wait a minute, I forgot my eggs. Hold up. Alright, let's pour our egg in there. Try to pour it everywhere. Okay, we're gonna mix this and then we're gonna put some more cheese on top and then we're going to bake it all right now we're just gonna top the rest with cheese you can add how little or how much you want if you don't want to put cheese on top you don't have to do that either but what we are going to do we are going to cover this and put this in the oven When I cover it, not touch down on it so much, so I don't want the, uh, the cheese to stick to the top, but I do want to get a little bit of air in there. So we're going to put this in the oven. Okay, we're going to check on this. It needs to bake some more because we have a lot of egg in there and we don't want to eat raw egg. So we're going to let this bake a little longer. And here, here is the finished product. No need to taste test it because I already had it before, but I'm just glad I made it and I know my son is too. I want to thank you all who watched and don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button. See you later. Bye.